Here we have the TM Craft Mini Keg. It comes in stainless steel and flat black. Upon opening, the tap has to be assembled. It even comes with its own keg koozie with the TM Craft logo on it. And it fits right over the keg with a snug fit, like so. First, we need to unscrew the storage cap. Then we screw on the beer spear, or whatever you call it. Yeah. Next, we screw on the CO2 regulator, well, unless you're into making beer bombs. Here we have the pressure regulator, very important. And also the pressure release the valve. Yeah. Look, a spring. I think it goes here. Then the pore faucet screws onto well, this thingy right here. Let's take a moment to watch me struggle with this. Shit. Okay. Yeah. I think it. Uh huh. There. Uh, no. Wait. Okay. There we go. It screws on like that. Just like that. Yep. Boing. Now our tap handle screws on. Like so. Perfect. Voila. And if you want to tighten it all down, it comes with a multi-tool. Tighten it like so. Counterclockwise. Tube time. Just slip that sucker on right there. And now we need to measure out our hose. And give it the snaps. Now let's stick that hose in there like it's 1969. And after that, tighten our tap down nice and tight. Like so. Yeah. Here we have our 16 gram 3 8 CO2 cartridge. Make sure that valve is off. Goes counterclockwise, by the way. Don't want to leave that on. And over here, it screws in right here, just like that. But stop, don't want to tighten this down until we fill the keg up. After filling, I was able to fit about 10 beers. Now that it's filled, we can tighten down our CO2 cartridge. Hold your breath. And, okay. I think we're good. Phew. Now open your valve and allow it to get to five PSI, two seconds only. Then release the pressure and recharge for five PSI for two minutes only. Now it's finally time to pour. Now mine's a bit foamy just because I didn't have my beer chilled like it should have been. But if you chill it properly, It'll come out nice and smooth, unlike mine, all foamy, ugh. Now, enjoy.